Hey guys, welcome back to the Conservative Patriot. My name's Keith. Hope you're doing well today. I am doing awesome. I want to talk about the Democrat debate that's happening tonight, as well as uh, Attorney General Barr and uh, what he's saying about uh, possibly resigning. So let's first let's talk about the debates. So it's the first night, first time that the um, American people will really see who Michael Bloomberg is up on the debate stage. Um, I live in Connecticut, so I've dealt with Michael Bloomberg when he was mayor of New York many years ago, or not even that many years ago, but um, you know, many years ago he was mayor of New York, and um, remember when he was going to, he was banning big gulps, and he was banning all kinds of stuff because they're bad for you, and he was basically taking away free choice from everybody. So keep that in mind when you are looking at, at Michael Bloomberg Oh, sorry, and his uh, record. Um, so, yes, he's a Democrat. He was a Republican. I don't really think he was a Republican ever. He was more like a, uh, a, a Democrat in Republican clothing. Um, so, uh, tonight the, the American people are going to finally see who this guy is. They're not going to see the uh, billionaire who's spending more money than any American president has ever spent or any candidate has ever spent on... Um, campaign ever in American history. He's spending that much money. Um, you know, and then you have, you know, Bernie Sanders going out there, you know, yes, he has the right to run for president, but does he have the right to really just buy his way into the nomination? Probably not. But then, you know, you look at Donald Trump, who's a billionaire too. And did he buy his way in? He didn't spend nearly as much as Michael Bloomberg is spending right now but then again donald trump had more name recognition than michael bloomberg does so but again i don't i don't really think that donald trump bought his way into the nomination i just think people were sick and tired of obama's policies and the democrats and he was new and and uh, an outsider and didn't have the politician uh blood so that's that's how he came to be president and honestly i'm, I'm so glad he did um and then, so then you have, so you have Bernie Sanders saying that about Bloomberg. And then you have um, Pete Buttigieg and Amy Klobuchar basically saying the same thing. Where you know, is it right for him to buy his way into the presidency? No, it's definitely not the right way to do it. Um, you 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 are not following the the normal campaign rules. You know, going out, um, having rallies, doing town halls. He's just spending ungodly amounts of money on campaign ads. Um, brochures and flyers and uh so yeah tonight tonight people will finally see the real michael bloomberg and and uh it's going to be interesting to watch him fight all of these uh attacks from the other democrat opponents especially in light of all of the videos that come out from you know him uh de you know defending stop and frisk and um you know all these policies that he says he's so so against right now but, you know, even even as few as five years ago, he was for all of these policies. So um, I don't think you're going to pull the wool over anyone's eyes, little Mike, but uh, good luck trying. And, uh, you know, I think I actually might watch the entire debate tonight just to see um, the other candidates take him down. It's going to be interesting. Um, yeah, so we'll see how he does. We'll see how Joe Biden does. Um, you know, I don't think he's going to do very well, but, uh, you know, it's going to be fun watching the attacks on Bloomberg. Uh, enough of the Democrat debate. So on to William Barr, um, uh, and him, you know, telling, uh, some of Trump's top advisors that he, uh, is considering stepping down if the president does not stop tweeting about, um, you know, DOJ investigations, um, and, and, you know, decisions, et cetera. Uh, because it impedes, you know, his job as the attorney general to do his job. I get it. I get it completely. How how pissed would you be if you you have already made the decision to reduce someone's sentence or reduce the sentencing um, for someone, and then your boss goes, yeah, and that's how it's going to be. We're going to reduce the sentence. And then it's like, all right, well, <clears throat> you already have people that think you shouldn't do it. And now you're out there saying that you want to do it, which now makes it look like I'm just listening to you and I'm being pressured to reduce a sentence. 
um, it, it makes it difficult. It makes it makes the decision process extremely hard um, for him to get it done. I completely get it. I would not appreciate the tweets either. But can you stop Donald Trump from tweeting? Probably not. But he really, I think he really should stop tweeting about um, investigations, especially when it's not helping the either his uh, staff or the person on the other end at all you know it's 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 doing more harm than good um i think what did uh i think it was lindsey Gl- lindsey graham or um mitch mcconnell said you know that's the it's the tweet that should not have been heard around the world um the other day when he basically said you know yeah i'm gonna reduce um stone's sentence or he hopes that ag Barr reduces a sentence which Barr already said that he was going to do but then it looked like Trump was pressuring him to do it, so I get it. There's too much. There's a lot of pressure in that job. Um, he doesn't really need the president to, you know, uh, make it any harder than it already is. So, those are my thoughts on it. I do. I think he should step down. No, I think he's a great attorney general. Um, I think he and Trump are both strong-willed and hard-headed, and um, but I both think that they have the same goal in mind. I just think they need to work around it to make it happen. Um, that's all I got today, guys. Hope you have a, a, a great rest of the day. Um, do me a favor, like, share, and subscribe to this video. And always remember, stay on the right side. Have a great night. Talk to you guys soon.